So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's uh, video is going to be a little bit different from the ones I've um, posted in the past. But I don't know whether you have um, watched uh, this video of a Kenyan lady who is uh, currently living on the streets after living, after coming back from the US where he had been living for over 21 years. So apparently she was uh, deported after being abroad for over 21 years because she did not have the right papers. I had so many questions on how this happened, but however this video is not uh, about this particular lady. I mean it's what inspired me to make this video uh, in the first place. So uh, in this video I want to talk about that uh, things that I've witnessed or I've been involved myself in the years I've been states uh, that made me understand how someone could uh, possibly go back home after living here for so long and they're broke and they have set from scratch so when you leave your homeland and uh, come abroad let it be Europe or here in the United States the main reason for doing so is to make a better living to support yourself and your family that you have left back home at least that's what I know that is what uh, most people have talked to, have told me. So, but in this video, I'm going to uh, give you five mistakes that we make that uh, may lead us to remain broke and sometimes have to go back home after leaving here for four, uh, 20 years, broke or have set from scratch. Reason number one is going to be leaving credit cards. Now, this is the biggest mistake one could make when they move abroad. You see, it's not about, it's not that credit cards are bad. I'm not saying they're good either, but most of the time we lack knowledge on how credit cards work. So I remember when I first moved here in the United States and I was told you need a credit card to build your credit so that uh, one day you can borrow money to buy a house or to buy your first car, you know. But one thing they don't tell you is uh, interest charge and the hole you're going to fall in if you don't educate yourself. Now, you see credit cards uh, offer a line of credit that can be used to make um, purchases, uh, uh, balance transfers or cash advances and requiring that you pay back the loan in the future. And at least you have to make a minimum payment every month. And you see, that's where the first mistake comes from. A company that will tell you to pay the minimum, which only covers the interest that, that they charge you at the end of the month without touching the principal. The principal is the original amount of money that you have borrowed. So you end up paying interest every single month, therefore remaining in debt. And the bottom line is credit card debt is a bad debt because of its high interest rates and low minimum payments. And the fact that it's not used to buy appreciating assets. You can use your credit cards for the rewards and other benefits but uh, with the balance for uh, each month remember if you keep on buying things on credit after credit for leisure purposes choices and consequences go hand in hand uh, the other reason is uh, we are feeders instead of builders uh, what do I mean by uh, feeders instead of builders I mean the, fir the first mistake that we make when we move here is think that we're going to solve other people's problems. So, I mean, it goes back to... Um, the saying where instead of um, feeding some of the fish, you should uh, try and uh, teach them how to fish for themselves. You now, that's solving the problem. But you're sending money to, this, uh, to your relatives or your friends uh, back home. You're not actually solving the problem because they're going to keep on coming back for more. Because you're not eliminating the original problem to why they were asking for money. Because, I mean, if I'm, if I'm asking money for, uh, to pay for my child's school fees, it does not mean that next month or next time I'm going to have that money for the next time so I'm gonna come back and ask for more you know and, and you know and this goes back to all of us that have relatives back home you know who think we're actually banks actually in fact they think 
man who grows on trees. So like I say, um, we create th this problem for ourselves because we tend to uh, create an impression that we have more and we are willing to solve um, other people's problems. You see, there's nothing wrong trying to help your relatives. In fact, that uh, should be your long-term goal. However, why would you solve someone else's problems when you can't solve your own? <laughs> that just makes just this common sense. So I was talking to one of my friends that, uh, you see, the same people that you're help, helping right now, uh, if you run out of money, the same people stop talking to you. Because there's no, I mean, you have, you have no value anymore. Your value right now is you can send money back right now. I mean, you can send money to them. Now, instead of uh, sending money all the time, why not set uh, up uh, an income generating venture? Set up a small business for them to generate income rather than thinking that you are going to be their financial superman. The other reason is uh, procrastination. Now, if you don't start investing, your, your investing plans right now, you will never start because there are always problems coming up. There's always responsibilities coming up. You're thinking that tomorrow you'll be able to do it, tomorrow never comes. If you think you're gonna have more money tomorrow, there's no guarantee for that. You have to start right now. Don't pull it for tomorrow. And if you have watched uh, any of my other videos, you know how much I talk about paying yourself first. Because at the end of the day, you need to be the first bill on your list. The other reason is that peer pressure. Now you see I've learned the hard way not to share any plans and only talk about them when they are underway. People can really actually discourage you from doing something, especially when they can't do it themselves. So why tell someone who's not going to help you get get to the next level? Keep, keep everything you have to yourself. Only tell those that you need to tell. Don't tell everyone. You came to this country on your own and you're, you're the only person that knows that you got here. The other reason, that my last reason is uh, being detached. And you know, this pisses me off when you hear people trying to detach themselves from where they're coming from. Thinking that the things they left 20 years ago are the same things right now. I wouldn't have known the things that are going on back home if I didn't go back. My brothers, my sisters, my friends, the ones that have been sending money are actually well off. And I'm here busy sending money to them, helping them to achieve their goals without achieve, achieve my own. You know, so funny is uh, some of these people that we are helping. They have their own houses. They are, their cars are paid off. They have no debt. And then you here, working three jobs, because you want to create this impression that everything's okay. It goes back to paying yourself first. You gotta take care of yourself. I know some of you are going to think, what do I know? Who do I think I am? I mean, nobody, but I'm somebody that learned the hard way. I try to learn from experience, and when I learn something, I want to pass it on, because I know the same struggles I go through living here are the same struggles you're going through. You work so hard for your money, don't just play with it. It's terrible when you work for 20, 30 years, and then retire and you have nothing to show. And the same people you've, you've helped, they're doing way better than you and they're not even willing to listen to you. They're actually laughing at you. And that's all I wanted to say. Hopefully you can pick up something from this video because you need to help yourself before you can help someone else. Share this video, hit the like button, Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. See you in my next video.